Hey guys, I'm Rajesh Shah and I'm a UX designer and I'm a co-organizer at UX Kitchen. So in this video, I'm going to talk you guys through the very beginning stage of a UX project. And that's usually known as a stakeholders brief. So usually this is when a client or your boss will come to you with a project in mind. And here it's really important that this meeting, that you take advantage of this meeting because you want to make sure that you end up very aligned with the project aims and goals with your clients and then you're asking the right questions to set off on the right footing. So usually here a client will come and they might have a solution in mind. They'll, have, they'll want you to make a dashboard or an app or a website. But oftentimes once you go through the UX research process, you'll find out that maybe the website was better off as an app or maybe it didn't even need a technical solution in the end. So by doing the re UX research process, you will end up saving your team countless hours from doing a project that might get scrapped in the end. So if there's really just one thing that you learn from this video, it's that you should start from the problem and not the solution. So whatever your client says and comes to you, always try to direct them back to the problem that you're trying to solve with it. So here, the ability to ask questions is a fundamental skill in the UX designer's toolkit. So here are some questions that you can use to get started. What is the purpose of this project? Does it have any business goals? Is there any existing research that you've done? Who is the target user? What do we understand about them? What is known about them? Do you have any notable competitors or does the product that you're trying to build have any notable competitors, whether direct or indirect? Do you have any technical limitations of the project? So usually these projects come in two forms. Either someone wants to create an entirely new project, product, or they want to build on and improve on an existing product. With new products, <laughs> the scope is often usually pretty unrealistic. Your client will come to you with this massive list of features that they want and it'll be super complex and you know, it'll be hard to even figure out where to even start. So here it's really important that you manage the expectations of your client and try to narrow down on just a few things and really just try to focus on what is the core of the problem. Whereas if you have an existing product, there is usually a ton of research or a ton of information that you can get from your client to understand why they really want to improve it and, and how you can do it in the best way possible. So make sure to gather the links to the product the current observations of it, what are people's frustrations, likes and dislikes with the product, and um, get the contact information of other people who've worked on it. So the developer, um, the designer, the project manager, literally anyone that could provide you some better context around it. So here are a few more things you'll also want to understand. You'll, try to, you'll want to know how users are currently solving the problem in question. If it's a new product, um, it will be, you know, however they do it, whether it's tech-based or non-tech-based, with the existing product, you'll focus on that product itself. Uh, you'll also have to talk about project management, what are the timelines in terms of research and brainstorming and ideation. And you'll also have to settle on a few communication tools. Do you want to talk with your boss or your clients through Slack or WhatsApp or Telegram, or do you want to have your meetings over Google Meet? Maybe you can set up a weekly meeting with them. And um, just make sure that throughout the meeting, you're really communicating with them with simple language. You don't want to throw words like user journeys and user stories and usability testing if your client doesn't really know, know the lingo of UX. So you'll have to make sure it's very clear so that you don't end up mis misunderstanding each other. So hopefully that's going to get your project off to the right start. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions, please add them in the comments below. And as usual, like, share, and subscribe. Thanks, guys.